Gdush. Hey, Frank. Congrats on selling your podcast for babies. Thanks. It was super easy. Each episode is basically just an hour of me saying goo goo gaga. -ga. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I concur. Congrats, Frank. Hey, guys. Can I get you a couple drinks? Obviously not you, but you too? Wait, what do you mean not me? Why can't I drink? Because you're a robot. I can't give you alcohol. You're going to short circuit, and I don't want my boss mad at me again. <laughs> Did you guys tell her to tell me I'm a robot? I'm not a robot. Right? Otis, he doesn't know. Oh, okay, 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 he was gonna find out eventually. Listen, Tyler 3000, you are a robot. Your uncanny similarity to a human reminds us of our own fragile existential status. Exactly, caused by what French philosopher Henri Bergson would call a troubling encrusting of the mechanical onto the living. So we're kind of dicks to you. But all my childhood memories. All merely lines of code just stored into your hard drive, I know. But I hooked up with somebody last night at the club. Right, you completely passed your Turing test. You're lifelike, ish. You know how ink on a Kindle almost looks like real ink? That's what your skin looks like. Tower 3000, come on. You weren't suspicious at all that your last name was 3000? I thought I was related to that singer from Outcast. Big boy? <laughs> You've <laughs> gotta be kidding me. Your relatives are more like a gateway computer and a TI-83 calculator. <laughs> Uh, don't cry. See, that makes us feel less human when you show you're capable of emotions or whatever. Because that's kind of our thing. I'm sorry. I'll try to be less feeling. Can I just ask you guys one question? Why was I created? Your power source for our phones. Duh. Nice. So, how about those drinks? Yes, please. We are going to the reorientation ceremony later, and I do not want to be sober for that. What do you want? Margaritas? Let's do it. You got it. Ah, oh, thank you, robot waitress. Wait, what? Am I a robot too? Yeah. yeah. You're literally plugged in right now. You have a cord coming out of your asshole. Like a very uh, brightly colored cord. Wow. <laughs> Robot faux pas. <laughs> the scene you just watched was about a world where robots live among humans as people. In such a world, how will the humans treat the robots? Hmm? Will they approach them with a spirit of generosity? Or will they be dicks about it like those guys were? It presents quite the... Puzzle? Do you understand? We're referencing a television show called The Twilight Zone. If you were a millennial, you might not get that. You only know about Black Mirror on Netflix. Black Mirror, so mind-blowing, wow. They took an episode of The Twilight Zone and they added a smartphone into it, oh my god. Charlie Booker, you're a genius, wow. Oh, it's a Twilight Zone, but there's a fax machine now. Totally new show, totally different. So good. Well, I hope you liked the scene and, you know, it made you question your humanity and stuff. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>